I'm back, and I forgot what I was supposed to be doing. Oh yeah, I can destroy this shit now. I would never have been able to rapid-fire so many spells out of my wand and move fluidly like this in the first game. I've said it over and over again. Cool. Okay, I really don't care for this heroic pose, but I'm just so glad they improved the control. I don't even see where Lumos changed anything. So that door won't open. Wait, uh, well... Yeah, if I walk up to it, sure it opens. Oh, wait. No. No! Crap! No, 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 no. No. Fuck, I cannot believe I did this. No fucking way am I doing this again. Oh, please let me out. Oh, thank fuck. I'm not doing an entire lesson twice if I can help it. Ay, ay, ay. I'm an idiot sometimes. Harry? Hermione told me that you can find the shredded boomslang skin out in the greenhouse. So I do have to go back in anyways. Fuck. Well, I'll just take care of this real quick. And, um... Hmm. Wonder what this Ravenclaw girl has. What do you have? I have wiggly bark, free of impurities and bark beetles. Uh. You know best, Harry. Oh, you're not selling bark beetles too. Just bark without the beetles. Yeah. Okay, Ron's there to guide me. Thank you. Because Harry doesn't remember where the greenhouses are again. A massive statue, and it only gives me two beans at a time. Four beans total. Great. As if that's any better for a huge dragon statue in the middle of this outdoor recreational area compared to, I don't know, a normal-sized chest. So warm in here. Yeah, last time I walked here, the cutscene forced me away from collecting the beans out here like an imperious curse. None of these break? Nothing in here, too? Oh well, I'm curious where Ron is taking me anyways. Okay, so it's just right behind the greenhouse. Since the gnome is trapped behind those vines, I should probably just leave it there, but I can't resist fucking up its day. I only got one bean out of him? Alright, I'll clear this. Oh, well, thank you for interrupting my spell, Ronald McDonald Duckface. Of course it locks itself behind me, trapping me in here with god knows what. I hope this doesn't take too long, sweet mother of Severus. Those are... those are walking Venus flytrap tentacle hentai spider monster motherfuckers. Oh, for fuck's sake. Let me out of here, just... why would you... why would you keep these creatures in Hogwarts, let alone anywhere, while permitting them to live? Jesus. Shit fuck. <laughs> I don't care if the mushrooms explode into radioactive dust or whatever, it's gotta be less frightening than those other things. At least they don't move real fast, so I, I can outrun them as long as I don't have to pass them by through a narrow walking space. Yeah, I'd prefer the exploding thorn bushes too. At least they fucking stay dead when you attack them instead of waking up again five seconds later like nothing even happened. I mean, god damn. Was there not a gnome here on the side? I don't blame it. Those, those walking things probably killed it. What am I even doing when I cast this spell? Why can't I just shoot a flamethrower out of my wand and roast these vines? I guess Professor Sprout might be pissed if you try to do plant control in such a messy fashion. I might burn everything else up too, but I'd say it's worth it. Ah, shit. Speaking of shooting fire... Yeah, get one of these to destroy the things. Ugh, just get it to ass fuck. Oh, 
another one? Get out of here with that shit. Yeah, I get one of the fire crabs to burn down these tentacle monsters. Oh, it took me a second to realize I was just down there. I mean, what a fucking nightmare. Yeah, this looks like a rotating platform that will direct me to those other doorways if I activate a mechanism somewhere. Uh, yeah, sure enough. Uh, yeah, fuck. Oh, no, trapped myself, I think. Uh, Jesus Christ. I'm pretty sure... Yeah, I have to jump down again. Oh my god. Fuck you. Well, it was worth a try. Didn't quite make it, of course. But if only I could fly my way through these courses on a broomstick instead of on foot, that would be so much easier. Let's see if I can just run past all these fire crabs. Apparently so. Sounds like it had an explosive... Literally just got hit in the ass with that fire blast. Although if I could fly by broomstick, I'd probably not be able to get too far with these awful broomstick controls. Thankfully, I don't have to jump down a second time. I don't even want to know what I might find next. I mean, seriously, this is fucking freaky-ass shit. Oh, noob camper. Fuckers. I think the secret of catching these frogs is to run at them in mid-jump like so. But that worked well, since they can't steer in mid-air. I thought I took care of this watering can already. What the fuck is that noise? Oh, they're throwing bark. It's those thingies that look like golducks or something. Except plant-type versions. I wonder if anything happens if I throw some shrooms at this beast. Well, apparently not. Great, more thorny bushes without the roses. God, do those things ever shut the fuck up? Jesus. Just, what are you even making noise for? Uh, crap, now what? Holy shit. This is a particularly nasty variety of spider. Their bites are extremely poisonous, so stay away and cast Rictus Emperor to stun them. So the narrator is like Professor Oak, just talking from... Eh, who cares? Who knows where he is? I guess that takes care of it for good and it's not going to move again, even though the omnipresent narrator ghost person said it would only stun them. Uh, God, those spiders are so fucking creepy. Just the legs and... Get, get back here, you sentient poopy. So much for following my own advice on getting the frogs, too. No, seriously, look. They look like the Pokemon Golduck. Eh, I may have killed them too quickly, but you've probably seen them enough, maybe? Eh, fuck it. Looks like there's a couple more over there at the opposite corner of this massive walkway wall. Yeah, I know I'm gonna look inside anyways, but after I explore the rest of the wall first. Go bleh, yourself, fuckers. Probably swearing too much. Not because I'm worried about offending people, just it's not as funny if you overdo it. And now, let's see. Yeah, what do you got for me? Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Just another eight beans. That's not exciting at all. When you discover a locked chest hidden in a secret room somewhere, I mean, sure, you get a card out of it occasionally, but more often than not, you're just going to be disappointed. I understand chests in general giving you beans, but this should more often than not give you something else if they're in a hidden area. <sighs> What are these metal designs? Chinese dragons? They look cool, but also out of place on a magical greenhouse somewhere in Britain. Maybe snake-shaped dragons can live anywhere, I don't know. 
What the fuck is that noise? Sounds like something trying to go through a solid wall but glitched and instead is just stuttering in place. I don't know. Is that chest empty? Oh, no. I would have been pissed if I would missed that. Well, actually, no, I wouldn't have been pissed after all because I wouldn't have known that I had missed it in the first place. Seriously, am I just... We're... Well, that must be the ingredient. Now, don't just stand there. Run away before Professor Sprout comes back. You're just such an idiot sometimes in this game. I swear to God. Hey, Hermione. I found a bunch of shredded plank skin for the polyjuice potion. That's great, Harry. I'll go add it to the potion right now. The weekly ass point ceremony starting soon. Oh, not you this shit again. Fucking getting tired of... Eh, sure, I remember where it is, but I'll follow you there anyways. I don't even know who these students are, but they have the courtesy to match my running pace. That's nice. Hello, everyone. Looks like it's time for another house point ceremony. Let's see which house is ahead this week. Oh, shit. Hmm. It appears that Slytherin is in the lead. Draco, looks like you get a chance to collect some beans. How many times have you been in, Potter? Oh, twice, I think. Time. So I've still been in there more than you have. In the second week of December, Professor McGonagall collected the names of those who would be staying at school over Christmas. Harry, Ron, and Hermione signed up. They heard that Malfoy was staying, which struck them as very suspicious. Projection much? The Christmas holidays would be the perfect time to use the Polyjuice Potion and try to worm a confession out of Draco. I ought to head up to Moaning Myrtle's bathroom and see how the Polyjuice Potion is coming on. I hope Hermione doesn't need any more ingredients. Why would you talk to yourself? out loud about such a sensitive secret project, Harry the Hairbrain. You've got to be kidding me, I swear to God. Yeah, I can take care of this now. I th think I may have noticed it earlier, but just assumed it was a decoration graphic on the wall that couldn't be interacted with. It's kind of cool that you can set this up so that you can implicitly assume that and then later stumble across it again and discover there's something new here to unlock. It's also a good way to miss things the first time you pass by. You don't necessarily explore the same area again. Oh my god, I'm an idiot. I just remember that those banners with the spell symbols indicate that the classrooms and their lessons for those spells are beyond those doors. And I say remembered because they did that in the third game too. That's just fucking embarrassing on my part. Yeah, I thought there was a save book down here. Although it seems a bit early to quit. Oh, no, no, no. I didn't mean to do that. What the fuck? Uh, uh, okay, well now I have ten potions. Oh, I guess it doesn't matter. I can't think of anything else you can do with those ingredients in this game. So that was alright, I suppose. Just surprising. I forgot it might do that. Actually, better to carry around the potions than just the raw ingredients. Who knows when I might need one. <laughs> what? Oh no! Not another attack! <laughs> it just looks so fucking Mr. weird. Potter? What's happened to you? I don't know. I found him like this. Follow me, E. Potter. <laughs> you two are just gonna leave him there? <laughs> oh wow. Professor, I swear I didn't. This is out of my hands, Potter. At least McGonagall looks a little more like herself in this game than in the first game, I think. No verbal password? Through this door, please, Potter. Now, there's gotta be something back here. Seriously? Alright. 
Well, there we go. Even Dumbledore keeps his beans in an easy to break open chest. <laughs> what a dumbass. <laughs> Alright, let's see what this is like. This must be Professor Dumbledore's study. That bird looks sick. It burst into flames! Indeed, it did. What else is in here? Yeah, I remembered. I can't even climb up ladders. Bullshit. That's ridiculous. It's the old school sorting hat. I wondered where it was kept. You've been wondering whether I put you in the right house. Yes, you were particularly difficult to place, but I stand by what I said before. You would have done well in Slytherin. Oh my gosh! That's your reaction? Oh my gosh! Good evening, Harry. Oh shit. Professor, your bird! I couldn't do anything! He just caught fire! I wasn't trying to Fox set the sorting hat on Phoenix fire either or anything. Phoenixes burst into flame when it is time for them to die and are reborn from their ashes. Fascinating creatures, phoenixes. They can carry immensely heavy loads. So can my balls. Their tears have healing powers, and they make highly faithful pets. Professor, I just want you to know that it wasn't me. I'm not the attacker. I know you're not, but I still want to talk to you. I must ask you, Harry, whether there is anything you'd like to tell me. Being able to talk to snakes was what Salazar Slytherin was famous for. Also, how long did it take for your beard to grow out like that? No, there isn't anything, Professor. I just gave you a question to ask him. You're sure? Damn it, Harry. Good night, Harry. Night, Professor! Well, that wasn't so bad. I didn't get in trouble and I got to watch a bird cook itself into some fried chicken. There you are! You need to go to Moaning Myrtle's bathroom. Hermione's waiting for you! Those beams of light are interesting. Look how they're angled. I wonder if they just took large, flat shapes and made them mostly transparent with white streaks without collision detection. I'm just glad they appeared properly, unlike the trees at the beginning of the game. Follow me, Harry! Are you standing on the railing? Yes, you were! And you just fucking walked off the edge! What the fuck? Although, speaking of that, now might be a good time to test what happens if I jump off myself. Ugh. Okay, so none of the magical staircases come to rescue me, and I nearly killed myself. Although, wait. I have these potions now. I'm clicking them and nothing's happening. Oh yeah, I have to use the space bar. So each one restores one bar of health. I can see why they placed that Wigan Weld cauldron down at the bottom of the staircases. Students must fall down there a lot. Oh yeah, there's this secret room, too. Uh, I don't even know how many cards I have. <laughs> nope, I only have eight. Can't unlock even one of those yet. Now where is Ron? Get down here! No, I'm obviously not talking to you, Ron. The fucking staircase isn't... Uh, yeah. Okay. Ugh, I haven't forgotten about that one yet either, up there. Christ. I don't even... Yeah, I guess Spongify later is how you do that. I just gotta keep stopping to get more beans or I'll never get all these silver cards, I guess. Especially now that Slytherin is in the lead and Draco Misfit gets to have fun collecting extra beans in the bean bonus room. Oh, I'm sorry, it's the bonus bean room in this game. They changed it in the third game, which I'm much more used to playing and talking about. Come on, give me a card. Fuck! Stupid fucking cards not in cleverly hidden in certain places to reward you for finding said places. Another Wigan Weld cauldron. Oh yeah, well, that's good. And... Yeah, just for good measure. One bean? Fuck. 